Welcome to CATS Tutorials, and in this video, I'll be covering practice problem 4.1. So I already have everything written down. I just want to explain what's going on. So this section talks about the linearity property. And this is made up of two parts, which are homogeneity and additivity. So for this homogeneity part, we are saying you are saying if you multiply from Ohm's law, we have V is equals to IR. So if you multiply the input side, taking this side to be the input side by a constant K, then you expect the same thing to happen on the output side. You expect the output to also be multiplied by that same constant K. And on the additivity side, we are saying if V1 is equals to I1 multiplied by R1 and V2 is equals to I2 multiplied by R2, then V1 plus V2 is equals to I1 R1 plus I2 R2. That is, that is it. So these are the two sections or these are the two parts of the linearity property. So we're now going to use those or we're going to use that knowledge to solve practice problem 4.1. So this is the circuit for practice problem 4.1, and we are asked to find VO. So VO is over here. It is across the 8 ohm resistor, right? And we have an IS here. So depending on the IS which we're given, we're going to get different values for VO. So the first section of the question says, find VO if IS is 15 amperes, right? So the, what is going to happen here is, we have this current source supplying current, and at this point, at this junction, we're going to have two different currents splitting, one going there and another going there to the series connection of these two resistors. Since th these are sorry, since these two uh, resistors are in series, then they share the same current or they have the same current. So I labeled that current I, right? So after labeling that current I, I'm just gonna use current division to find the current across that side. So if you remember in current division, we multiply the IS, which is 15 for the first part, multiply the IS by the other side, which we aren't interested in. So we aren't interested in the current which goes there, we're actually interested in the current that goes that side. But to find the current that goes that side, you actually multiply by the one which you aren't interested in, which is in parallel with your other side. So that's why we have IS multiplied by four, and then we divide by everything which is in parallel with each other, which is four plus the, this combination. Four plus this combination uh, are in parallel, right? So that's what we have. This is four, this is, and at the bottom we have 24. So we have 24 at the bottom, and at the top we have 60. And simplifying all of that, simplifying all the way will give you, so it could have divided by 12, but I first use six, then two. Could have divided by 12, should have given us the same thing, which is five over two, and that is uh, 2.5 amperes. So that 2.5 amperes is this I, which goes through there. But what is VO? VO is actually I multiplied by the resistor, which is it is shown across. So VO is equal to I multiplied by eight. So we found our I to be 2.5, and then we're gonna multiply that 2.5 by eight, and that answer is 12 volts. So when IS is 15 amperes, we have, sorry, 20 volts. We have 20 volts when IS is equal to 15 amperes. So now for the next section, we can, we can do the same thing. We can just use uh, plug in a different value for IS in this equation and then find I and then multiply it with the same eight ohms. But we are now using the linearity property and so we we can form a ratio of, of our values. So taking the IS to be the input and using the homogeneity property or the homogeneity section of the linearity property, then we're going to say whatever happens to the input affects the output in the same way. Or whatever we multiply the input by, we multiply the output by that same value as well. So we form a ratio saying that when IS was 15 amperes, we found VO to be 20 volts. So the next question asks, what is VO when IS is 30 amperes? So now that we have 30 amperes, what is VO? 
So from that, you can just do a proportion, saying 30 multiplied by 20 divided by 15, and that should give you 40. That is 40. So just to confirm that this is the same as when you do current division, you'd say i is equal to, in this case, we have 30 multiplied by 4 and then divided by 4 plus 12 plus 8, which is 120 divided by 24, which is equal to uh, 5, right? This is equal to 5 amperes. And VO is equal to I multiplied by 8, which is equal to 5 multiplied by 8, which is equal to 40 volts. It is the same thing, but the linearity property actually shortened our working to just do proportions and actually find the value. And that is how you solve this problem.